called slicers in Excel. Now slicers are a visual way uh, to filter a data source. In this case, I'm gonna use an example of a table uh, and a pivot chart. <clears throat> so here's what you do. If you have an existing table, and if you need information about tables, be sure to go check out my videos about uh, how to create and manage tables in Excel. So you're gonna click into your table, and then you can go to your insert tab along the ribbon, and under the filters group, you have an option of slicer. Now, if you're in a table, you can also find this option quickly on the design tab. There's a button there called insert slicer. So when you click the button, it pops up. You choose the field you wanna add a slicer for, in this case, I'm going to put a check mark next to the type field, which is an income or expense. You hit OK, and it puts in this thing that looks like kind of like a smart art graphic that you would have drawn. But you'll notice it's got two pieces in it, and that is related to the data in that field. So if I just wanted to see expenses, I could actually just click expenses. If I wanted incomes, I could just click incomes. You can click and drag to highlight multiple items. Now, one main issue right off the bat here is that it covered up part of my data. So I need to know how to move a slicer. And to move a slicer, you just move your mouse over the border so you get these four arrows. And then you can click and drag and I can move it kind of out of the way. You also have these little squares located around the border of the slicer and you can use those to resize it. So if I only had two data items, I can make it you know, a more reasonable size. And again, when you click it, it applies a filter. I really like using these uh, when I'm sending spreadsheets to people that might not use Excel every day uh, because this is a very visual, very easy way to apply a filter to drill down to the data they might need to see. A couple other items with slicers. Uh, number one, you can change the styles. So you can change all sorts of colors. If you inserted more than one slicer, which you can do, um, you can color code them. So you can color code your slicers, again, making it a little bit more organized, a little bit easier for other people to use. Well, let's go take a look at pivot tables because there's some options related to slicers there that we should take a look at. So here's my pivot table, and I want you to notice we have two pivot tables. They're based on the same data, data source. And I'm going to insert a slicer for one of them. So I'm going to click on the pivot table, and you could go to insert. Under the filter group, you can choose slicer. You also have it. Um, over on the Analyze tab of your Pivot Table Tools, you have Insert Slicer here as well. So I'm going to choose Insert Slicer. I'm going to do Type again. I want you to notice something. So I can move it. I'm just going to position it kind of between um, between these two pivot tables here. A little bit more. It should be able to fit nicely in there. There we go. And it's only going to filter one of them at a time. So if I were to just do Expense, you can see this one got filtered, the one that I had active when I inserted the slicer. But this one over here is not getting filtered, and it's based on the same data. So this may or may not be a good thing, but if I had a whole bunch of pivot tables on the same sheet, and I want to apply this kind of user-friendly filter, well, I might want to connect it to both, and here's how you can do that. With the slicer selected, you're going to activate the slicer options tab. And then you have a button here, it's the second button called report connections. If you click that, it pops up and it will list any pivot tables that you have in the current workbook. I simply put a check mark next to the pivot tables that I want it to affect, and I hit OK. You can see now when I apply my filter, there you have it, it's actually affecting both pivot tables. So it makes it really easy to actually have one uh, slicer that then can filter multiple pivot tables within the same sheet or even within the same workbook. So you have it. That's the basics on how to work with slicers. They're a wonderful feature. They were around in 2000, Excel 2010, just for pivot tables, and they've added the functionality to tables if you're using Excel 2013. So if you're using 2010, you can use your slicers with pivot tables. If you're using 2013, you can use it with tables and pivot tables.